During the Innovation 2023 keynote, Intel officially confirmed the launch date of the new 14th generation laptop processors, based on the Meteor Lake architecture, which is set for December 14th. However, the company didn't share much information about their specifications or performance during the event. Not to worry, though. In this video, I'll provide you with all the details about the 14th generation CPU specs and performance, and I'll also compare them to Intel's 13th generation, as well as AMD's Ryzen 7000 series processors. Furthermore, I'll share my insights on whether the 14th generation Intel processors are worth the wait, or if you should be on the lookout for the next generation of AMD processors, which are expected to arrive just a few months after the 14th generation hits the shelves. But first, CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They are currently running a back-to-school sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16. Then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the back-to-school sale is on. By the way, if you've been anticipating Meteor Lake processors for traditional desktop PCs, I have some bad news for you. Intel has officially confirmed that Meteor Lake is coming to laptops, mini PCs, and all-in-one systems. Consequently, there are no plans for new desktop CPUs, sockets, or motherboards in the near future. As I mentioned in the previous video, the 14th generation processors for desktops will utilize a refreshed version of the Raptor Lake architecture, manufactured on the same Intel 7 node as the current 13th generation processors. If you are interested in learning more about the specifications, performance and the exact release date for these upcoming processors, be sure to check out my previous video. I'll provide a link to it in the description below. Based on the latest leaks, Intel plans to introduce at least four processors as part of the 14th generation family. These include the Core Ultra 5 125H, which boasts 4 P cores and 8 E cores, providing a total of 12 cores and 16 threads, with a core clock boost of 4.5 GHz. The Core Ultra 7 155H, equipped with 6 P cores and 8 E cores, delivering a total of 14 cores and 20 threads, with a core clock boost of 4.8 GHz. The Core Ultra 7 165H, which maintains the same number of cores but offers a higher core clock boost of 5 GHz. Lastly, the Core Ultra 9 185H, which shares the same core count as the Core Ultra 7 processors, but boasts the highest core clock boost among them, reaching 5.1 GHz. As you can see, it is evident that the top 8 plus 8 core Meteor Lake configuration has been cancelled, as even the high-end Core Ultra 9 processors offer just a 6 plus 8 core configuration. Therefore, there is no hope for a powerful Meteor Lake-based processor for desktop. Now let's delve into the performance of the new Intel CPUs. Fortunately, we have access to several Geekbench 6 benchmark results for Core Ultra 5 and Ultra 7 processors that we can analyze to get a general understanding of where the new 14th generation CPUs will stand in terms of performance compared to other currently available laptop processors from both Intel and AMD. To the best of my understanding, the Core Ultra 7 is positioned to compete with processors like the Ryzen 7 7840HS, and indeed, it appears to closely match the single-core performance of the 7840HS. The Core Ultra 5, on the other hand, managed to match the i5 13500H in this test, which is not a good result at all because the Ultra 5 is a direct successor to the i5. However, in multi-core tests, the Core Ultra 5 is outperforming the i7-13700H despite having two fewer cores. The Core Ultra 7 processors delivered performance comparable to the i9-13900H and Ryzen 9 7940HS. It is important to clarify that these tests were likely conducted using qualification samples of the Meteor Lake processors, not the actual finished retail products. Furthermore, we have no information about the power or cooling conditions used. Regardless, I don't anticipate these CPUs performing significantly better than what we see here when they are released in laptops in December. 
the finished product will most likely be about 5% better, and the Core Ultra 9 being another 5% better on top of that at best. In conclusion, the new Intel processors seem to offer a slight improvement over Intel's and AMD's current offerings. This may make it a challenging sell for customers seeking maximum performance on the go. However, I suspect that Intel will market the Meteor Lake laptops as exceptional products for users who prioritize power efficiency and all-day battery life. These new processors are manufactured using the new Intel 4 process, which delivers enhanced power efficiency compared to the Intel 7 process. Additionally, each Meteor Lake processor includes two ultra-efficient cores, so technically the Core Ultra 5 has 4 plus 8 plus 2 cores, and Core Ultra 7 and 9 processors have 6 plus 8 plus 2 cores. These two ultra-efficient cores handle tasks that demand minimal computational power, allowing the processor to use less energy and significantly improving power efficiency. Well, at least in theory. So, we'll have to wait for independent reviewers to verify that. Additionally, Intel aims to market these laptops as something novel, an AI PC. Indeed, these new processors boast AI capabilities that are unprecedented in our current laptop technology landscape. However, while Intel did showcase some potential use cases for this new technology, they made it explicitly clear that it falls upon software developers to come up with useful features and applications. Consequently, it is not yet a compelling selling point at least not strong enough to outweigh the underwhelming performance results compared to the currently available processors. We must also consider that AMD's next-generation processors, based on the Zen 5 architecture and manufactured using the TSMC 4 nanometer process, are set to arrive approximately 3 to 4 months after the launch of Meteor Lake processors. The upcoming AMD processors are poised to deliver a substantial performance uplift, surpassing Meteor Lake in terms of performance by a significant margin. So, if you've been patiently waiting for the next generation of processors to buy a new laptop, then it might be worth waiting a bit longer to get an even better one when AMD releases its next generation of laptop processors. These processors are expected to feature the largest integrated graphics ever seen. Integrated graphics that could render even discrete laptop graphics cards like the RTX 4050 and RTX 4060 obsolete because they are expected to deliver the same performance while consuming less energy. What do you think about the new Intel processors? Are you interested in buying a new laptop with a Meteor Lake processor inside? Let's have a chat about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then reward my work with a like and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim, until next time.